In this video, I'm going to tell you all about what this does on a helicopter to prevent the pilot from getting dizzy. Hi, I'm Rick James from The Pilot Teacher and today we're going to talk about tail rotors on a helicopter. What are they there for and how do I control them? So helicopters that have a single main rotor require some form of what is called an anti-torque device and that is the tail rotor's job. When the engine is turning the main rotor of a helicopter it creates torque. And what happens is that as the main rotor goes this way the fuselage is wanting to go this way due to Newton's third law which states that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. So think of it like you, you know, you're in a kayak or a canoe and you put the oar in the water and you pull it backwards. As you pull it backwards you go forward. That is the equal and opposite reaction and that's the same with the helicopter fuselage. So as the main rotor goes this way the fuselage wants to go around this way. And to prevent that from happening helicopters have a tail rotor. So a tail rotor produces thrust and that's basically lift but in a horizontal direction. So the designers create the helicopter so that when the helicopter lifts into a hover the thrust being created by the tail rotor matches the torque being produced by the main rotor. So everything is in balance so when the aircraft lifts up into a hover it sits perfectly sitting forward provided there's no wind. So when I want to turn the helicopter, if I was to turn to the right for instance, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push on the right pedal and through a mechanical and hydraulic linkage it's going to come down to this linkage here which moves this slider up and down which then moves these pitch links which then adjusts the pitch of the tail rotor. By adjusting the pitch of the tail rotor that creates more thrust or it reduces the thrust that is being produced. I obviously love you guys, it's starting to rain so I'm going to carry on, hopefully it doesn't rain too bad. So when I push right, uh, right pedal in the helicopter I need to create more thrust because I'm going against the torque. So it increases the pitch of the tail rotor blades creates more thrust pushing this way which then forces the tail boom to the left and turns the nose of the aircraft around because the when you yaw the helicopter it is around the central mast the main rotor mast so that's like the pivot point so the tail boom goes left nose comes right when I want to turn the helicopter to the left what I'm going to do is push left pedal same linkage is going to reduce the pitch on the tail rotor blades and then there's going to be less thrust compared to the torque being created so the torque will actually pull the tail boom this way which then turns the nose to the left so it's basically just a case of I either create a bit more thrust or a little less thrust than the main rotor's uh, torque that's being created and that's how the tail rotor manages to keep the aircraft straight so when I'm sitting in the hover and everything's balanced and I'm sitting forwards the thrust being produced by the tail rotor matches the torque being produced by the main rotor and the engine. And that is how a tail rotor works. <laughs> it's starting to really rain now. Um, some people have this misconception that um, I control the tail rotor by adjusting its speed and that is incorrect. The tail rotor is mechanically linked through drive shaft and the transmission to the main rotor. And the main rotor turns at about 390 RPM tail rotor turns at about 2085 ish so it's about a 5 to 1 ratio for every single revolution of the main rotor tail rotor does 5 revolutions and there's no way of adjusting the speed it's a fixed speed when that's turning it's linked through gears and drive shaft to the tail rotor um, so as one's turning they're both turning so that is how I control the helicopter and that's how the tail rotor prevents the helicopter from spinning around and making me dizzy. I hope you found this helpful, I hope it answered some questions for you. If you do, if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell as well so you know when, <laughs> know when videos are coming out. Holy, it's really raining now, I'm going to get the covers on this thing. Um, yeah, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up, really, really helps the channel and uh, yeah, check out the other videos I've got coming up here 
Uh, I hope you'll like them too. <laughs> Man, I love you guys. Here I am doing videos in the, <laughs> in the rain. Okay, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Take care.